hey, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I just felt the Lord tell me to come on here and tell someone the Lord is about to blow your mind. The Lord's about to blow your mind with a blessing. You never know when the blessing is going to come. It could be a Monday, and the blessing could come Monday afternoon, could come Tuesday. Who knows when it's going to come? All you have to do, friends, I promise you this, is position yourself. Set your sail and wait for the blessing and the wind to blow. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you need a blessing. In the comment section, if you need a blessing, if you need a breakthrough, if you need God to break through with the blessing in your situation, in the comment section, put it below. It can be specific. It could be health, relational, or financial. You don't have to be specific. Just put amen or pray for me because I found this out. The Bible says where two or three are gathered, Jesus is in the midst. So if I join my faith with yours, it's like this. One can put a thousand to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. So if I join my faith with yours, there's a there's an expected, there's a breakthrough synergy because the anointing is exponential. And Father, I just know, I know you told me to come on here and say, tell someone there is a blessing with their name on it. There's a breakthrough with their name on it. David called that place Bel Parism, which means God of the breakthrough. For he's broken through my enemies like the breakthrough of water. So, Lord, I'm praying for my friends via YouTube right over this screen. And Father, whatever it is, it could be health related. I'm loosing and asking for healing to come to that problem. It could be relational. Let the storm come, it become in relationships. The enemy's trying to cause division, factions, schisms, and there's warfare and relationships between marriages and children and parents, etc. It could be financial. I'm asking the blessing of finances, wisdom to come, be imparted. I'm asking the impartation of the Lord to come through this screen. That's not always taught, but caught. Let an impartation of the blessing of Jesus come right now and Jesus, take it, receive it, expect it. The Lord is going to break through your situation. There is a breakthrough, a blessing with your name on it. For yea, my daughter, thou hast contended, thou hast positioned thyself. Yea, my son, I'm going to bless thee with a blessing. It's going to blow your mind, saith the Lord. I'm about to blow some of your minds with a blessing that's going to be so radical and huge and big that you will not be able to contain it. And it's going to be an awesome testimony for my glory, saith the Lord. And therefore, the kingdom of God will flourish because only God gets the glory when he takes a mess and makes it a message. And many times the Lord can take someone that's a victim and give them the victory. Hallelujah. And you've got the victory by faith. You've got to confess that. I've, if you say, be that, it says Mark 11, have faith in God. If you say, be thou removed to this mountain, it shall be done for you and cast into the sea. You've got to speak to the mountain. What are you saying to the mountain? Go and G, find your scripture, find your decree, find the word, and begin to declare it. You're not going to go around the mountain. You're going through the mountain. God's going to remove it as you speak to it because he's given us all authority. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Uh, the authority he's given us, we trample upon scorpions and snakes. We're not playing games around here. It's a battle, man. We're in a spiritual battle. If you want to see some things manifest in the visible, you've got to contend in the invisible. You've got to learn how to bring heaven to earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know what I'm saying? If you want a breakthrough, then become one for someone else. 
If you're sick, find someone that's more sick than you and begin to pray your healing and impart healing to them. If you're broke, find someone else that's more broke than you and begin to sow financially. Listen, if you want a breakthrough, become one for someone else. Someone else needs a breakthrough worse than you. Now, you may be on your last leg about to be going to eternity. God can really do a resurrection. I've seen a massive, massive miracle of a young man with an overdose here in New York where he was kidney, liver, and heart dead and brain dead. I've never seen anybody come back from being in a coma from being brain dead. The doctors pulled the plug. It's over to the parents, the mother. Dude, we contended, and not that God because of what we did. The Lord resurrected that kid, and it was a mighty miracle. He went to Bible school. He's in ministry now. So the Lord can do things, but we got to learn how to fight in this battle and bring things to manifestation and fruition on the earth. So just some keys to getting the breakthrough and the blessing, but the Lord's going to break. I mean, I, I felt the Lord gave me this title. I'm about to blow your mind with a blessing. <laughs> I don't know how I got it. I never said that before. <clears throat> hey, if you made it this far in the rant, subscribe to the channel. It'd be an honor. Any of the shows over six minutes and times past, you can check out. Just go under the history of the uh, my channel, Rob with One, where I expound in a revelatory fashion out of Scripture. Hit the like button. Comment if you have a prayer request. Blessings. Amen.